Welcome back to my channel, The Facts of Life. Today, we are journeying to the heart of a dense forest, to a quaint, picturesque town that seems straight out of a fairy tale, Willowbrook. It's a town where time seems to have stood still, where every cobblestone street and every rustic building has a story to tell. But beneath its charming facade lies a secret, a mystery that dates back centuries. This mystery revolves around a man named Samuel Hawthorne, an enigmatic figure whose life and death are shrouded in enigma. Join me as we delve into the deep, dark secrets of Willowbrook and unearth the story of Samuel Hawthorne. Prepare yourselves, for this is not for the faint-hearted. The mystery, the suspense, the thrill all unraveling in this exciting episode. So sit back, relax, and let's unravel the secret of Samuel Hawthorne. In the small picturesque town of Willowbrook, nestled in the heart of a dense forest, a secret had been hidden for centuries. It all began with the sudden passing of Samuel Hawthorne, a mysterious figure known for his extensive collection of rare artifacts and mystical relics. His death was shrouded in enigma, as his house, a grand mansion perched on a hill overlooking the town, was notorious for being abandoned and rumored to be cursed. Among the townsfolk, a young amputee named Eliza had captured Samuel's attention during his final days. She had lost her leg in a tragic car accident, a life-altering event that took away her dreams of becoming a professional dancer. Samuel was known to be a recluse, rarely interacting with anyone, but he found solace in observing Eliza's indomitable spirit. Upon his death, Samuel's last will and testament revealed that he had bequeathed his most valuable possession to Eliza, an intricately crafted prosthetic limb. Eliza, moved by the gesture, eagerly accepted the gift, despite the strange aura surrounding Samuel's mansion. The moment she attached the prosthetic limb to her body, Eliza felt an inexplicable darkness wash over her. Her once radiant spirit was tainted by an eerie presence, and her life took a sinister turn. Nightmares plagued her sleep, and she would wake up with scratches and bruises, her prosthetic limb seeming to have a life of its own. It was then that Eliza realized that the prosthetic was cursed. Determined to break the curse and reclaim her life, Eliza delved into the town's archives and discovered a history of ancient rituals and dark sorcery associated with Samuel's mansion. She enlisted the help of a local historian, Professor Jameson, who had devoted his life to uncovering the secrets of Willowbrook. Together, they embarked on a journey to unravel the curse's origins. Their quest led them to ancient manuscripts, filled with incantations and illustrations of occult practices. It appeared that Samuel had acquired the prosthetic limb in a mysterious trade with a group of sinister individuals who practiced black magic. The limb, it seemed, was cursed as part of a nefarious ritual. As Eliza and Professor Jameson dug deeper into the curse's history, supernatural occurrences began to escalate. Objects moved on their own, ghostly apparitions haunted them, and a chilling whisper echoed in the mansion's dark corridors. They knew they had to confront the dark forces lurking within the prosthetic limb. One fateful night, Eliza and Professor Jameson conducted a counter-ritual, utilizing their newfound knowledge of the curse's origins. As they chanted incantations and burned protective herbs, the prosthetic limb came to life, writhing and contorting, emanating an ominous energy. It was a battle of wills, and Eliza's indomitable spirit, now tempered with determination and bravery, was her greatest weapon.